Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the Google Ads auto apply recommendations, and I'm gonna show you the ones that I keep on and the ones that I turn off. So let's jump right into it. Uh, to view the auto apply recommendations section, you're gonna to go to the campaign section, go to recommendations, and then on the right hand side, you'll see this auto apply icon, and you'll click that. And this is going to open up the auto apply recommendation section. So there's eight types that are under the maintain your ads category. And then there's 14 different recommendations under the grow your business. So I'm going to open up the maintain your ads. As the name suggests, the auto apply recommendations are um, recommendations that Google can automatically enable in your account. So, and there's some that are fine, in my opinion, to have enabled. And there's some that uh, I think uh, should always be kept off. And we'll go into those right now. So under the ads and assets, um, I usually keep the use optimized ad rotation on. That just lets Google rotate your ads if you have multiple ads in ad group to show the ad that's gonna work best. Um, so I typically keep that on. In terms of adding responsive search ads, I usually keep that off. Uh, I'm always rotating you know, different headlines and descriptions and A-B testing the responsive search ads. So I'll go ahead and keep that one off. And I usually, since I'm testing things on my own end, um, I keep the improve your responsive search ads. I keep that off as well because um, I don't want, um, I want to have more control over that. So I don't want Google to automatically enable different headlines and descriptions. I usually test that with, with A-B tests. And for keywords and targeting, uh, remove redundant keywords. I usually toggle that on. I don't think it's too big of an issue if they're removing keywords that are already in the account. Um, I remove non-serving keywords, so um, I usually enable that as well. If a keyword hasn't served, you know, over 30 or 60 days, um, it really doesn't need to be in the account. And remove conflicting negative keywords. Um, that one I keep enabled too. I keep an eye on that, but for the most part, there shouldn't be uh, too many issues with that. And for the use optimized targeting, I always keep that one off because that's going to allow Google to expand your targeting. And um, I want to have full control over, you know, the keywords and the audience that um, I'm targeting. And for measurement, uh, upgrade your conversion tracking. So um, this is going to push the data driven att attribution. For the most part, I usually have the campaigns on data driven attribution. So usually it's not necessary to enable this. And then if we go into the grow your business section, I usually keep most of these off. So add new keywords. I want to have control over adding the keywords. So you can see the recommendations for additional keywords to be added and review it that way. But I always like to have the final say, and I don't want Google to automatically enable keywords that I'm not aware of um, and have spend, you know, go to a different set of keywords that weren't really planned. And I keep the add broad match keywords off as well, uh, just so we have more control on what we're targeting. And I usually always keep the use display expansion off because if we're running search, we want to make sure that our ads are only running on search and not also on the display network. And for most of these bidding um, suggestions here, I usually keep these off because I want to manage how we're bidding and the bid strategies that we're using. And I don't want there to be any adjustments to um, the target CPAs or um, the target ROAS being automatically adjusted. Uh, in most cases, keeping the bids and the budgets and having full control over that in your account is important. So at this time, I keep all these bidding ones off. Um, so yeah, that's a, a quick review of this. So again, um, the ones that are checked in blue are the ones that um, will allow the automatically applied recommendations. And the ones that aren't checked, uh, there won't be any automatically applied recommendations. So after you make that adjustment, you can click save and then save those. And again, if you ever need to adjust anything in the future, you can just come back into the auto apply section. You can also see when in the change history when the auto applied um, changes are made. So that's always available in the change history report as well. And yeah, if you have any questions on that, please put them in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and have a great day.